This is Chicago's very own WGN Midday News. A Navy veteran from Lombard is free after being held captive in Afghanistan for more than two years. The Taliban releasing Mark Frerichs in exchange for a notorious drug lord imprisoned here in the U.S. Well, Sean Lewis live in Lombard with this story. Sean. Yeah, you can imagine the amount of relief here in Lombard after this two and a half year saga to have Mark Frerichs released outside of his sister's home here in Lombard today. There is an American flag, a POW MIA flag as well as a poster of Mark still hanging outside. Mark Frerichs, as you mentioned, Pat, is a Navy veteran and was serving for more than a decade as a civilian contractor in Afghanistan when he was kidnapped in January 2020, some two and a half years ago and held by the Taliban ever since. Now, negotiations for his release had centered on a deal that would also involve the release of Bashir Nurzai. He is a notorious drug lord, a member of the Taliban, who told reporters earlier today after his release in Kabul that he had spent 17 and a half years in cap U.S. captivity. Now, beyond these high-level international negotiations that have been going on since his first capture, neighbors hearing this news from Frederick's sister early this morning via text. We're so happy for them. I mean, um, just I know she's been trying to get him back and working with um, the people in D.C. and just just trying to get the word out there about Mark. And we're just so happy that he's finally coming home. Now, a number of statements coming out regarding the release, including this from Secretary of State Antony Blinken, whose team negotiated this prisoner swap. Quote, Mark's return to his loved ones is the result of intense engagement with the Taliban. I have no higher priority than the safety and security of Americans around the world. And two statements first from Senator Tammy Duckworth. I'm thrilled, she says, that his family, who have long been Mark's champions, will get to reunite with him. I applaud President Biden for taking the steps necessary to prove that we do not leave Americans behind. And Senator Dick Durbin saying this in part, I am deeply heartened by Mark's long overdue release. The tragic and cruel use of him as a hostage has finally come to an end. We are going to be having much more on this coming up in the noon hour, including uh, kind of a readout from our terrorism analyst, Tom Makaitis, on what this prisoner swap means and what it might mean for our future negotiations between the U.S. and the Taliban. For now, we are live in Lombard. Sean Lewis, WGN News.